Ice cream. This is one of the many meals in Breath of the Wild. You have likely never seen it in the game before. That is because it's an unused asset in the game's files. Back when the game released in 2017, there's a glitch that randomly turned an elixir into ice cream. Nobody knew how or why it happened. Nintendo unfortunately patched it before anyone could learn how to get it consistently. Since then, there's been a new discovery that completely breaks the inventory and menus. Using this glitch, it's possible to obtain the ice cream again five years later. This is the speedrun where we get ice cream as quickly as possible. Here's how the run goes. We start a new game and grab the Sheikah Slate. Then we clip out of the Shrine of Resurrection and go back in bounds. We then get the Pot Lid and Boga Sphere and then kill all the Bogos. We pick up a Boga Horn before heading to the Sword in the Stone and then the Temple of Time. Here we get a Bow and some Arrows. This category doesn't even complete the Great Plateau, but we can still get off it early. There's a part of the Great Plateau barrier that doesn't void you out in the southeast corner. We BLSS to the edge of Lake Hylia and drop down. We then go to the shore and run northeast to where the grass is. Using the sword we got, we can now slash the grass for a cricket and two fairies. Fairies cannot be found on the Great Plateau, so we get them here instead. After spending minutes waiting on the small RNG chance for fairies to spawn from grass, we run away from the Great Plateau to the second invisible barrier that sends us back to the Great Plateau. Nintendo made sure there was no way to leave the plateau early, so they added two barriers. The first barrier is the one that surrounds the Great Plateau if you fall off. This is the one most casuals void out in. It's only at a certain height, so you can BLSS over it. The second barrier encompasses the entire rest of the map. Further out from the first barrier, the Void Out Plane covers any space outside the plateau. This is the barrier we Void Out in. Once we respawn, we are back at the Shrine of Resurrection. From here, we run back to the Boku Camp from earlier on. This is where we can perform the glitch that makes the whole run possible. Inventory Slot Transfer, or IST, is the glitch that allows us to get ice cream. It's an extremely complicated glitch, so I'll break it down step by step to make it easier to understand. The first part of IST is breaking slots. When you break a slot, it makes the slot all the way on the right get transferred to a save when you reload. So if you break 5 slots, it will transfer 5 things in your inventory going right to left. There are 3 different types of data in this game. Save data, which is the items you have in a save file. Game data, which is the items you currently have in your inventory. Invisible inventory, which is normally the same as game data, but transferring items to a save desyncs them. If you transfer a pot lid from the game data to overlap with a material in the save data, the durability of the pot lid gets transferred to that number of materials. The pot lid has 10 base durability, so if you transfer it with that durability, the value gets multiplied by 100, giving you 999 fairies, rather than 1000, since the game caps materials at 999. The way we get ice cream is similar to this. We transfer an elixir to a meal with no special property, which combines into elixir with no property. Since every elixir gives some sort of buff like speed up or attack up, the game uses the only elixir that has no property, which is the ice cream. Here's how we do it. We save here to set the save data. The two fairies we got will be used to break slots. We hold one fairy and stand in the campfire to use up the other one. Then by dropping the fairy we are holding, it breaks a slot. In short, we decrease the number of item slots in the inventory. By dying and using a fairy, it decreases the slot value since that's the last item in the fairy stack, and by dropping the fairy, it decreases the slot value again since that's the only item left in the fairy stack. Since it removes two slots from our inventory when there was only one to begin with, it creates what we call a broken slot. We then reload and do those steps again so we have two broken slots. Now we move on to the next step of the glitch. We need to cook 60 meals as quickly as possible. We can do this by duplicating items using IST. We pick up 15 peppers, save, and reload. When we saved, we updated the game data to have the two items all the way on the right to be the Sheikah Slate and the 15 peppers. Since we have two broken slots, it transfers these two items when we reload. Certain items like the Sheikah Slate won't get duped, but the peppers do. By syncing the game data, we have two stacks of 15 peppers. We then repeat this twice more until we have four stacks of 15 or 60 peppers. We then cook 58 pepper meals, one elixir with a cricket and vocal horn, one highly insured meal, and save. Then we eat all the meals except the elixir and reload the save. What happens is the Sheikah Slate and Elixir are now the two items on the right that get transferred when we reload. In the save, we had 60 meals, and when we reload to transfer an additional meal, it has nowhere to go. The cooked data remains though, and it is transferred to the meal to the left of it. We set this up so this meal is the highly insured meal. That meal gives no effect, and the Elixir gives an energizing effect. When they combine, they turn into an elixir with no effect. Ice cream. This has been the short and sweet speedrun of ice cream percent. IST has changed Breath of the Wild speedruns like no glitch before. If you want to see speedruns with IST or ice cream percent runs live, check out my Twitch channel. Thank you for watching. See ya.